Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby, and in the previous episode we took down the gym leader of Doofu Town, and then we were instructed to enter the Granite Cave. Hopefully those archaeologists that were here prior are now missing so we can uncover the secrets of this awesome cave. And we're going to put on a repel, and I think we're going to switch... No, Rouse is a high enough level. If we encounter anything level than high than level 13, I'd actually be surprised. And if so, we should probably start battling it. And, and indeed, the archaeologists are missing. Oh, and what do we have here? Alrighty then, what's going on, dude, and, hmm, so in the ancient world, their primal forms were once held their much power, a super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength, with this appearance here, it seems somewhat different from Mega Evolution, hmm, it seems my question will not be answered today, hmm, you are, uh, Johnny, the trainer, I got something for you. Oh, I see. It's a pleasure, Johnny. My apologies. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today, my journey brought me here. But what about you? I have a letter from me. Yeah. We give him the letter. Super. And why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Nice! Got a free TM from Mr. Steven. If you don't mind me asking. Do you feel anything particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Hmm, yes. But not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Look at you all together. I think that you have in you what it takes to become a Pokemon League champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Yeah, we are pretty low level, huh? Good luck to you. I must be going now. Alright, Steven, thanks for the technical machine, even though Steel Wing, not really the best TM, and... Yeah, tremendous, powerful Pokemon in a mural. Hmm. Very interesting. And I assume we're going to have to get the mock bike to get up there. And yes, I would actually use to use another repel. So I don't want to run a single Pokemon. Anyways, now that has been taken care of, I do believe that is pretty much everything that I want to do here in Doofer Town. So we can get back on the boat and then go where somewhere else. So where on earth is the dock? There it is. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? Let's get out of there. Oh, look, there's all you living and shit sharing proper. That reminds me, I've got a message from President Stone. He says he got no favor. This is about them different bars. <laughs> he wants us to go to the Slateport shipyard and visit Captain Stern. There's an old sea dog. We get you there safely. Anchors away. We're off to Slateport. Okay, sounds like a plan. So we're going to Slateport City, one of my not necessarily favorite cities. I mean, I don't dislike it. It's pretty darn cool. It's got a beach. Better in deep Duford Town. So that's kind of cool. And we Instant transmission. We're here. Oh, we made it a slave board. I suppose you'll have to visit Captain Stern to load them bars, huh? Yeah, that's pretty much what we gotta do. Before we do that, uh, no, don't need another repel. Let's see who we can't talk to here on the beach. I've led anchor and ports around the world, but sleep port's the best! Okay, well, that's a Pretty interesting way to start a battle, and the Sailor Huey wants to go at it. With his, guess what? I'm a chop! Yeah, didn't see that coming. <laughs> For whatever reason, sailors are in fact obsessed with Machops, and whoa, this one's level 15. Enough messing around, we gotta take this guy down, because he's almost stronger than my starter Pokemon, but dang! Routes is actually doing a lot of damage now. Crazy. All right. <laughs> Our Speed's going to fall a little bit, but that is not too big of a problem. Unfortunately, we'll get another low sweep in there, which kind of sucks, but we'll be okay. Confusion will get another KO. 
then the Machop will be defeated. Nice. So that's been taken care of. We probably should find a Pokemon Center. And I also did deposit the uh, Zigzagoon and turn the EXP share on. So we can start sharing EXP with our entire team. And now let's think. Is there anything else I want to do here? We could buy some Lemonade, I suppose. Um, eh, doesn't really strike me as that interesting. I kind of want to check out the inside of it, though. Well, maybe buy a glass or something. If they even sell it anymore. No, 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 the Sea House. You call me Mr. C. I love the uh, Sea Hot Pokemon battles. Your heart burns hot. If you defeat all the trainers here, I'll reward your efforts, huh? That does sound very enticing, but I got better things to do. We gotta give those parts to Captain Stern, after all. Let's go do that real quick. I could maybe fight some of these other optional trainers off screen, but... Well, as it stands right now, I want to start exploring. And oh my gosh, the shopping district. Heck yeah, man. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Alakazanite? What? We're just getting Mega Stones like at the beginning of the game? That's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> I assume this lady will sell us some stuff for our uh, secret bases. And these guys, I believe, sell... EV training stuff? I I want to say that. I'm pretty sure... No, it's the energy guru. Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. So, that's cool, that's cool. And all these shops, pretty helpful if you're looking for something in particular. But at the moment, I'm just trying to find Captain Stern. And maybe Pokemon Center. I found the Pokemon Center. Let's go in. And all right, so now let's look around a bit. Don't think I need to do any shopping. And, huh, is this... Slateport Harbor. Oh. Huh. Maybe he's inside here. Hopefully. Maybe. Probably not, actually. Let's talk around a little bit. I'm very curious. I just want to talk to some NPCs and a journey to the bottom of the sea. I wonder what that's like. I would go deep underwater like that someday. I'm sure you would. And Oh, yeah, this is the place we come... Well, we want to do some events. But I'm not sure those events are even going to be in this game. I sure hope so. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire was the first game where it was like, Wow, the events in this... Wait, what? is going on here. Anyways, the events were actually a really cool thing. They just did so much in the post game and extra content to such an already huge game. It was kind of mind blowing and I guess that's Captain Stern. Mm, this goes here and that goes over there. Where does this go? With that, that doohickey. Do he's a captain and still using the terminology doohickey? Huh? You? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Doc. Oh. Apparently he's not Captain Stern. Well, Captain Stern commissioned me to drop some designs for a fairy. Oh, those parts you have. Those are Devon parts. Uh, that won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off in an Oceanic Museum. Museum, you say? I'm pretty sure we saw a museum somewhere. <laughs> what are those guys doing? They're just like, yes, I'm staring at this empty thing. Don't mind me. And what the heck? This line dropped down so dramatically. I don't like the sound of this, guys. Huh. Well, we got routes in front, so hopefully we'll run into some poison types you can take. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Not to give too much away, but... Oh, excuse me, please go through reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. Fifty... This is highway robbery. Fifty dollars for guesting music. <sighs> disgusting, disgusting. Anyway, so we gotta find Captain Stern ASAP. Where is he at? Is he over here? What is this guy? Mm, he says, uh, the replica of Luxury Lana, the Circles of Globe. Uh, it doesn't look like Captain Stern to me. Where's this guy at? They said that he was in the museum. Is this not a museum? I don't know. Huh. What you? What's going on with you? I could put Nosh use in nerfious deeds. Nefarious deeds. That doesn't sound good. Uh, it's a secret that I stopped the reception because I didn't have... <laughs> I didn't have that much money and we need to assemble here so we can... Is it here? Your boss, huh? We are of Team Magma. Exists for the good of all people. Uh huh. Something about this is extremely fishy, and not in the sea kind either. Yeah. Well, I'm out of ideas. Uh, this guy has to be Captain Stern. I don't see anyone else in this museum, so it's either him or the receptionist. Hey, man, what's up? Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Those are the parts I ordered. It's as stone as Devon. Thank you for bringing them all here this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Oh. What? Uh-oh. This isn't good. Ha 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 ha! Just a moment! We will be taking those parts! Ha 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 What? What was that? Who are you people? We are Team Magma! Our boss has need of those parts! So relinquish it at once! Okay! 
<laughs> and Team Magma has invaded the museum! No way! Anyone saw that coming? Yeah. Oh, nice. A Numel. Numel or Numel or Nubble. I don't really know. It's a fire ground site. We can't run from battle. Why'd even hit that? He was really good at taking down fire ground types. My boy, Awkward. Bro, show him your moves. Get in there and shoot that water gun, bro. He's going to try a flame burst attack, but... Eh, I don't really care about that. <laughs> All right, so water gun. Four times super effective to these guys. See how much damage you can do in a one-hit KO. Can't say I'm not surprised. <laughs> Awkward is kind of a beast after all. And alright, we're getting level 17. I really hope we can get some really good moves on him. So far, our special attack stat, not tremendous. So I want to find a physical attacking water move. I know they exist. And Routes says, wants to learn Lucky Chant. I believe that is a move I've never seen before. Use your chance in incarnation. Prevents the opponent from landing critical hits. That is the dumbest move I have ever heard of. I do not want to learn that. No, thank you. I'll hold off till I get some better psychic attacks. And then maybe we'll get something useless. And Shroomish, Shroomish exists too. Don't forget about Shroomish. You shouldn't forget about Shroomish. And we beat the Rocket Grunt. Absurd! I was defeated by this child! This is quite a disgrace! At this rate, I will become a target of the boss's fury! My, you really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while a future ace grunt of Team Magma makes work short work of this infant. Really? Really, you think you can beat me? Come on. I got three Pokemon. You only have two. Mathematically, I've already won. <laughs> Anyways. So, this guy's going to start out with a Zubat, the same level as our route. So, I, I think we're on level. This is good. I always hate being super over-leveled my Pokemon Let's Play. So, hopefully, we can stay at this. And, all right, we dodged the Super Sonic. That's a bit of good news. Let's just go for Confusion. And the Zubat should get owned rather quick. Cool. Get a little bit of EXP, and let's see. Next Pokemon is going to be a Nummel. Same thing as before. We're probably going to send an Awkward. I'd really love to use Shroomish a bit. But the fact remains, you can't beat the fact that this is the single most awkward looking Pokemon ever. <laughs> anyway, Water Gun yet again. This one is even weaker than the one we fought before. So it's obviously going to get knocked out. In one hit, the critical hit did not even matter, dude. Come on. That wasn't even necessary. But hey, I'll take it. We won. Could it? No, that's the wrong voice. Could it be? G Gosh. Hmm. How could a future ace run of Team Agra be defeated? What should we do now? We must obtain that case at once. Humph! I would never have stated that a mere child would pursue an obstacle. Uh, but. Uh, well, hi there. This guy looks really friendly. Now here I was, wondering how you could be held up in a simple act of seizing a case. Do I take it you are being surmised by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me of your fierce determination. My heart is pounding my chest. Yes, I think I can see why lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand at the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity toward even greater heights of progression and evolution. Indeed. And you are the one, the young persons, who may shape our future society. Consider that fact. I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world. The land. It is the stage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so we humans might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For one of us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand, a land upon which we can stride forward, a land which we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis of the growth of all human endeavor. This is why we, Team Magma must increase the land mass of this world. This guy is literally insane. Believe that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness for humanity and consequence for all. Hmm. I suppose that concept may still be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I have tried to open your mind. 
I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care that you never again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient next time. I will implore you to remember that. We are done here. Oh gosh, that guy is uh, a little on the sinister side, but hey, at least Professor... Not Professor Stern, Captain Stern. And young man. Oh, Johnny, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Look, if I help me out. Oh, yes. I also almost forgot that you brought the cross from Devon. Yeah, I'll make sure to give you those so you can make your ship or whatever the dump. This is it. I can be sitting around here. It's finally time for us to sit on the ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this. Excuse me. Well, no problem, man. I'm glad I could help out on your crazy sea thing. We stopped Team Magma here in Sleepboard Town. Who would have thought they'd come all the way over here to try and attack us, gosh. Actually, not really us, but the citizens of Slateport and, more importantly, Captain Stern. Captain Stern's kind of an important fellow. Anyways, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. We went into the cave of granite, found that really weird mural thing carving, and then we came here to Slateport City. And now, well... I don't really know. We don't really have any exposition, but I guess we'll head north and see what other gym battles are ahead of us. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next part. Bye.